Roland Page is predicting that the average sale price will increase 6% from Q3 to Q4. Let's break down their most recent article and discuss what we've been seeing on the ground level in Toronto real estate. I'm Michael Luzes. I'm a realtor here in the city of Toronto. If you ever want to book in a call to discuss what's been happening on the ground level on a day-to-day -day basis here in the city as we head into Thanksgiving weekend, you can click on that first link in the description down below. Every quarter, Roland Page comes out with their quarterly forecast and what they're predicting for Q4 versus the other quarter during the year. They also break down what they've been seeing nationally across the board for some of the major cities in Canada. Let's take a look at what those breakdowns look like and also where things are looking in Toronto, what we've been seeing here through the month at the end of September and into October. So right off the bat, third quarter highlights, it does mention that real estate rebound Canada's sluggish housing markets are in recovery mode following the third straight interest rate cut. And they are discussing another rate decrease at at the end of October, but that will remain to be seen as we go along here through the month. So saying further rate decrease is expected to set the stage for an early spring market. What's interesting about that is the last couple of years, we saw January, February, March really take off, especially at the start of the year. And then inventory started picking up into April, May, which is historically the start of the spring market, basically after that March break, going to Easter and into the summer. What will be interesting to see as we go along this year are the new mortgage rules coming to effect on December the 15th and whether or not that brings buyers to the table a little bit earlier than December heading into the winter months. Third quarter highlights on a national level, the aggregate home price rose about 1.6% year over year in Q3 of 2024, decreased 1.1% over Q2. Greater Montreal aggregate home price increased 5.2% year over year, while Greater Toronto and Vancouver markets showed little change, rising 0.7 and 0.5% respectively. We've seen that in Toronto, where pricing has basically been hovering around the $1.1 million mark, ebbing and flowing basically since the end of 2022. But we have seen some pockets where that price did increase up into the 1.2 range and then kind of came back down to that 1.1 range. For the second consecutive quarter, Quebec City recorded the highest year over year aggregate price increase 10.5% in Q3 among the report's major regions. And major markets in prairie provinces continue to show resilience and strength. Tight supply pushed prices upward in Q3. Rolla Page is expecting prices to remain stable through Q4 and forecasts pull ahead of spring market on expectation of continued easing on lending rates. One thing that's interesting to note, especially for the Greater Toronto Air and the City of Toronto specifically, is that we had an incredibly slow July, August, and even September wasn't exactly a barn burner. As things went through September, we did notice that the great properties in the great areas that were priced well, especially when it came to single family homes, we're moving incredibly fast. We're talking zero days on market in some cases, even upwards to a week on the market, but selling pretty quickly at very good pricing for those sellers, for those properties. We have been seeing the properties that are really not showing very well or not done up very well, not quite getting the attention they deserve. We've also been seeing the properties that don't show very well or that are in need of a ton of work, not flying off the shelves and the properties in the higher price range, definitely sitting longer than expected, especially when it comes to that $3 million and over range in the city of Toronto. For the city of Toronto, aggregate price of a home decreased 2.3% year over year to 1128900 third quarter of 2024. And again, that's that 1.1 range. And this is across the board. This includes condos and houses and everything in between. The median price of a single family detached home declined 1.3% to $1,672,000, while the median price of a condo decreased 3% to 682800 as we've seen in any of the market stats videos that you've watched recently on this channel, the condos definitely have a lot of inventory that have been on the market. So we have been starting to see price decreases as those condos start to sell. The entry level condos for first time buyers and investors, we have been seeing relatively slow as of late, but the bigger condos seem to have picked up some traction as those prices have come down quite a bit from where they were even a couple of years ago. This does mention that trends in Toronto's condo market have been marched to a different beat compared to other property segments as of of late. A lot of new units have hit the market and near record number of completions this year. Some investors offloading rental units that have become too expensive to carry. Prices have softened and this could spell opportunity for first-time buyers with boring rates on the decline and new 
year amortization legislation set to come into effect that will ease the burden of monthly carrying costs. We take a look here at this chart and there's tons of data here, but basically the Q3 aggregate 2024 medium price was 1,155,800, which is a 1% quarter over quarter change for the greater Toronto area. If we jump over to Rolla Pages 2024 market survey forecast, and this is heading into the last quarter of 2024. Nationally, they're predicting the price to increase from Q4 of 2023, about five and a half percent across the board. Greater Toronto of 6% increase from Q4 2023, which the average aggregate home price was just over 1.12 million. They're predicting it to be closer to 1.2 million heading into the new year. What's interesting to note is last year compared to this year, one of the biggest factors when it comes to pricing is the lending rates. And we're seeing mortgage rates at a significant difference where things were even a year ago. We're talking almost one and a half to 2% difference basically across the board when you're looking at fixed rates. That's a huge savings when it comes to your monthly payment. And with the new 30-year amortization that's going to come in on December the 15th, that could lower the monthly payments as well. As we've been seeing, as interest rates come down, we do see demand typically pick up, especially when it comes to single family homes. And we have basically two markets here in the city of Toronto. Single family homes have been performing very well. And as mentioned a little bit earlier in this video is that the ones that look really good and are really well kept in great areas and priced well are selling very fast. The ones that definitely need some work are sitting on the market a little bit longer. And for the condo market, a different story, especially when it comes to inventory across the board. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below on what you think of this forecast. And if you think it'll be true that prices will increase about 6% from where they were last year at this time. I'm Mike Luzes. Thanks for watching.